Man. Oh man, I am. Okay, let's go. Delaware versus Villanova. We've seen it. 15 seeds have upset number two seeds in the past. We've seen it before. But I don't see it. I, I don't see Jay Wright in this Villanova basketball team losing to Delaware. I don't see it. But <laughs> what I do see is them not going very far in the NCAA tournament. Look, this this Villanova basketball team, they – they have some talent. They they have seniors on their team, and I have to respect them for that. Delaware is is not the standard for this team. It's can they get to a, a Final Four and potentially cut down the nest like we've seen before, and I don't see it. Listen, they can't win. They're not making it past this weekend. They're in a lose-lose scenario. No one... Right now, you know, I'm a huge Buckeye fan. Called, you know, a couple games on the radio this season. And the vast majority of America and the, the people out in Vegas that have the large hotels and the casinos they have, you know, Loyola Chicago and, and Sister Jean favor to, to upset my Buckeyes. I've been watching this team all year. I've seen at the nosebleed seats, courtside seats, covered the game. Called the game, watched the game, watched them on TV, watched the Buckeye team all year. And it is very disappointing that a lot of people are rolling with Sister Jean and Loyola Chicago to upset my Buckeyes. Which means that they will have a matchup potentially, which I don't see happening with Villanova. And there's not a Villanova fan in the world that is going to tell me that they don't that they are not afraid of Loyola Chicago. You can't. Recent history, I understand it. You know, Final Four, they've upset. They went on a run last year, I believe. The success that Loyola has had in the past is going to give Villanova fans pause a cause or a reason to pause. That's just one. And I'm telling you, do not. My Buckeyes are going to win. They're going to win. We play Friday. I think we play Friday at 12, Pittsburgh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Villanova cannot match up. Uh, Villanova cannot match up with Ohio State at all. And listen, Justin Moore, Gillespie, they have not seen anything like Malachi Branham or EJ Liddell. They have not seen anything like it. They do not want to see either one of them. Either one of them. And I can guarantee 20 a game. He will at least get 20 EJ Liddell. And I can guarantee Malachi is going to get at least 17 or 18. Villanova does not match up well against Ohio State at all. There's two. And then Justin Arns, if he's hot from three, is a huge issue. We have guards that can lock up. Jamari Wheeler is one of, historically one of the best guards one of the best guards in Big Ten history. He's top 10 all time in steals. It's just a bad matchup for for this Villanova um, basketball team. Look, the committee gave these the committee set these guys up to, for failure. They're they're in a lose lose situation. Delaware, they should they should get past Delaware, of course. You can't underestimate Del- Delaware. Look, this is not about, about Delaware. This is about Ohio State and Loyola Chicago. Villanova does not want to see either team. The recent history that we've seen the Cinderella success of Loyola Chicago is a problem for Villanova, and my Buckeyes are a huge matchup problem. So you have Cinderella on one on the left hand side for the Villanova, for Villanova, and then on the right you have a team that actually has size and that can match up. You, Joey Brunk has some of the best footwork, post moves. He can really push you up. I don't look. Jermaine Samuels, he he doesn't want any part of that. And then you have Zach Key, rebound, rebounding monster on the glass. Matchup nightmares for either team that they face. Villanova's not making it to the Sweet 16, and you can book it. But they will be Delaware. But whoever they face, which I believe is going to be my Buckeyes, they don't want to see. They do not want to see them, and they definitely don't want to see Loyola Chicago at all.